Today I'm going to install this level bolt. This is an invisible smart lock. I'm Ron Polk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plants to build a smart wood shop for yourself, a smart bench, a smart station, or any of the accessories that work with the system, there's a link in the description of this video down below. This is the first one of these I've installed and it's really interesting. The invisible part it, it seems to work with any brand of deadbolt and it doesn't change your keying or anything uh, inside or outside to let you know that it's a smart lock. It replaces the bolt itself internally and works according to this company with any brand of lock, at least as far as I know. So we're doing this one on a quick set, but they are supposed to work with slag and those kind of things. So it'll be interesting to put this together because I've done all the, a bunch of different deadbolts over the years, brands, and they are different inside, physically different. So how does a single product work on different ones? Step one is to make sure the deadbolt that you have works smoothly so you don't have to push on the door, pull on the door to get it to lock. About as smooth as they come. The next step is to disassemble the existing lock. There are three inserts and I can look here at uh, this quick set and see that the middle one is the, is the same shape. So I'll be using that one installed into the, uh, the motor or the driver. The attachment plate is quite a bit thicker. I'm going to say three times thicker than the one that came with the quick set lock. And these are pretty typical. So it means I'm going to have to uh, take this mortise a little bit deeper. There's a short and a long position on the bolt. It comes out of the box in the short. And when you insert it into the door back flush, if you can see it, then that's, if it just pokes through, then that's good. If, you, if it's still recessed in there, then you need to shift it to the long position. And all you have to do is take a little screwdriver, or in my case, I'm using a scratch all, push down on that, and then push in on the plunger, and it'll go and snap into the long position. And then that'll fit doors with, or locks with a, a, a longer offset. There is a proper orientation. It's marked clearly that this is the top, so you want to put that up. Slide the motor on with the uh, word level up. There's a Phillips screw that you need to tighten that down firmly. This is a really good feeling piece of hardware. Everything fits together nicely. This is where we choose the uh, proper tail piece. There's an arrow up and a slot, so you really can't put it on wrong. Clicks, clicks right into place. I like that. Insert the striker plate into the door jam. In my case, I have the one from the quick set it's got a slightly different shape. Not sure if that's going to work. I hope it does because this one uh, I've chiseled out. And so this would be smaller. I'd have to fill in. So we'll see if that one works. And now it's just a simple matter of reassembling. Their bolt, I think it's a little bit wider. When I just turn it in without pushing on the door, it hits the edge. I have to push in on it slightly so that would not work with the electronic lock. I could grind this. I'm going to try grinding this edge out a little bit. I like the fact that the uh, quick set one has four screws and I've used really long ones that I've drilled in to uh, the concrete. battery in spin this off this is nice if you've ever got to change the battery you don't have to disassemble the lock you just do it right from here the negative or the flat side of the battery goes out positive goes in and they have an extra cap here this is a long cap this is if I had extended the bolt to the long position I'd replace the short cap I heard something there download the proper app either for uh, Apple or Android in my case it's uh, Apple I've already got it downloaded 
you create an account and connect to your level bolt. Uh, the level bolt works with HomeKit and Ring. So we're HomeKit. The lock is found, level bolt. Connect with my location. Your lock is now connected. Firmware update required. Update firmware. Interesting, it says unlocked by Ron and gives the date and time. I'm gonna drop back and learn more about the app. But as far as the lock goes, it works great. It was easy to install, no harder than any typical deadbolt. I didn't have to deal with some funky high-tech looking thing that, that just wasn't what I wanted. I liked the style we chose. So the fact that it was invisible was a big plus. And the fact that I downloaded the app and I just hit open and close and it worked, all the other stuff's a bonus. In the meantime though, it is technology, so I think I'll keep the deadbolt key in my pocket. I'll put a link to Level Bolt in the description of the video down below so you can go and check it out yourself. If you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, if you'd like to encourage me to make more, there's a couple of things you can do to support our efforts here at the Smart Wood Shop. One is just simply give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to fall behind or miss a video, be sure to subscribe. But more than that, you need to ring that bell because that's really the only way that YouTube will let you know when we put up a new video. Subscribing just isn't enough. Also, you can share this channel, this video with somebody you know and just help us to grow our subscriber base. It does give us more access to vendors and suppliers so that we can bring information to you. You can also go to my store. There's a link in the description of this video down below. If you use any of those affiliate links, they'll share a little bit with us, but they don't charge you any extra. And finally, YouTube has the thanks button down below. You click on that and that'll show you exactly what to do. Thanks for hanging out with me here in the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.